Good morning, everyone, and happy holidays. It is Julie here with your Tip Ranks pre-market morning update, where we're bringing you everything you need to know before the market opens. So let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back. Merry Christmas, happy holidays. I hope you're all having a fantastic morning. Just a reminder that the stock market is closed tomorrow for December 24th, and we will be back at it next Monday. Now this morning, we'll be taking a look at exciting stock market news, notable earnings reports, and the morning's biggest gainers and losers. Just before we get into all of that, this is your friendly reminder that if you enjoy today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and that you're subscribed to the channel as well. Okay, getting right into this morning's exciting stock market news. U.S. stock futures are in the green this morning. Currently, Dow futures are up 0.33%, S&P 500 futures up 0.34%, while Nasdaq futures are up 0.24%. Entertainment giant Discovery announced that the European Commission has granted unconditional approval for the acquisition of AT&T's Warner Media business. The combined company will host the most popular and entertaining content, including CNN, TBS, TNT, HGTV, Food Network, and Discovery Channel. The European Union had taken up the matter to verify whether the combination of the two giants would hamper competition in the European market. Discovery expects the deal to complete in mid-2022, pending DISCA shareholder approval and certain regulatory closing conditions. Their stock is currently rated a moderate buy with an average upside of nearly 45%. MoneyGram International has entered into an agreement with Indian payment bank Paytm to ensure smooth money transfers. With this partnership, MoneyGram customers can send money in near real time directly to the millions of fully KYC-compliant Paytm wallets in India from anywhere in the world. Furthermore, with the burgeoning digital payment scenario in India, MoneyGram expects to grow rapidly and this partnership is likely to be an enabler in this aim. Their stock is currently rated a moderate sell with an average downside of 24%. Tesla has submitted all of the necessary documentation to obtain approval for its proposed electric vehicle factory in Berlin, Germany. Due to environmental resistance and red tape, the approval process has taken quite some time. It's still unclear whether Tesla will secure approval and when it is likely to roll out its first EV from the country. The delay in the approval process came on Tesla expanding its original plan to include a battery factory. Consequently, the regulatory process had to undergo a renewed process involving public participation. All the feedback raised from the consultation will be considered when coming to the final decision. The Tesla stock is currently rated a moderate buy with a slight downside of 0.45%. And shares of SciPlay Corporation are falling after Scientific Games withdrew their offer to acquire the remaining 19% stake in the digital game company. Scientific Games currently owns an 81% economic interest and 98% voting interest in SciPlay. Scientific Games made an all-stock offer to merge with SciPlay back in July. But now the CEO and president of Scientific Games is saying, in line with our approach to capital management and disciplined M&A, we have decided that continuing to pursue this opportunity would not be prudent for our shareholders at this time. The Scientific Games stock is rated a moderate buy with an average upside of 36% while the SciPlay stock is rated a moderate buy with an average upside of 22%. Now moving over to notable earnings reports. There is pretty much nothing happening in the pre-market or after hours today for earnings. It is exceptionally quiet ahead of the holidays. Yesterday, we did hear from Paychex, who delivered solid results for their second fiscal quarter. Their earnings came in at $0.91 cents per share, up 25% year-over-year, and beating the street's estimates of $0.80 cents per share. Total revenue grew 13% to $1.11 billion, surpassing analyst expectations of $1.06 billion. Their CEO and chairman said that results were driven by growth in employees within our client base and continued strong sales growth and client retention. Their stock is currently rated a hold with an average downside of nearly 9%. Yesterday, we also heard from Syntas Corporation, who posted upbeat results for their second quarter, but disappointing guidance for fiscal 2022. 
They reported earnings of $2.76 per share, beating the estimates of $2.64 per share. Total revenues came in at $1.92 billion, growing 9.4% year-over-year and topping analyst expectations of $1.9 billion. In response to encouraging results, they did update their guidance and total revenue is in line with analyst forecasts, but their earnings are projected in the range of $10.70 to $10.95, below analyst expectations of $10.90. 97 cents per share. Their stock is currently rated a moderate buy with a slight upside of half a percent, with more recent ratings ranging from 7 to 16 percent upside. Now let's take a look at which stocks are this morning's biggest gainers and losers. Our biggest gainers this morning are led by Scientific Games following their withdrawal of the offer on SidePlay. Under the ticker SGMS, they're currently up 10 percent. They're followed by United States Cellular under the ticker USM. Their stock is up 9.6% after they entered into a $150 million credit agreement. And Equitrans Midstream under the ticker ETRN. Their stock is up 9.2% after Wells Fargo upgraded their rating. Our biggest losers this morning are led by JD.com after Tencent said that it would give away majority of its stake in the e-commerce giant to shareholders. Under the ticker JD, their stock is currently down 7.8%. They're followed by Lilium under the ticker LILM. Their stock is down 5%. Looks like it's just cooling off from gains of nearly 15% yesterday. And Zahu under the ticker ZH, their stock is down 3.5% after a Chinese regulator filed an administrative penalty case against them. So that is going to be everything for Thursday's pre-market morning update, getting you up to speed with what you need to know before that opening bell. If you made it to the end of today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and say good morning in the comments down below. I always love hearing from you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic holidays and I'll see you back here next time.